De regreso aquí en Auto 060 seguimos la cobertura especial con la colaboración de Camilo Alfaro, el editor en jefe de Autoproyecto.com y en Amelia Island. Camilo tuvo la oportunidad de hablar con uno de los ídolos de su infancia, con Bobby Rahal, allá en el Amelia Island Concourse de Elegance. Hola Javier, ¿cómo estás? We are here at Amelia Island with racing legend Bobby Rahal. Bobby, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. What an amazing event we have here, Amelia, and we just saw your 3.0 CSL. What a beautiful car. Oh, thank you very much. Well, first, yeah, Amelia Island is absolutely one of the finest uh, Concorde d'Elegance in the world, and, uh, you know, it's in a perfect setting, and the weather's great, and the car's even better. And uh, so for me to be able to bring my 3.0 CSL here is a real thrill. I mean, I love that car. It's an awesome car. Um, you know, when you, it's, you know, it's, what well, now, 40 years old almost, but when you look at the kind of performance it has and it was 40 years old, it's, it pretty much, it amazes you, so, uh, it's a thrill to have it here and just uh, proud to be a part of it. Now, now, this is not just a car that is put on a concourse, I mean, this is a car that you drive. Oh, yeah, no, I, uh, I mean, it's not a, you know, what you would call a show car, I suppose, um, because it's dirty and it's got stone chips and what have you but I do drive it every day or nearly every day because uh, it's just uh, that straight six BMW engine is such a unbelievable smooth you know powerful engine and I love listening to it and uh, and you know the car it's very fast I mean it's amazing I don't think it really people quite realize how quick these cars were in the day and so you go down the freeway and you're going 120 miles an hour before you know it and you think my goodness uh, Uh, there's still a long way to go yet, you know, but, um, but the quality of the car and the looks, uh, I just, I've always thought it's just a classic BMW and I'm really pleased to own one. Now, speaking of BMWs, you also are part of the Z4 racing program. How is the team doing? Well, you know, we had a reasonably good la uh, year last year. We won two races. Um, you know, this year we've been, we, we had one race to Daytona 24 hour. We were second and fourth. Um, close to winning the race, only a second or two away from that, but uh, uh, so we were competitive, uh, but you know, I'm really looking forward to Sebring this coming weekend because I think we can be even stronger there. Uh, you know, it's, the car is, is really well suited for the shorter circuits, uh, circuits without really long straightaways because it handles very well and it brakes very well. Uh, so, but it's also also about the team, you know, good pit stops, good pit strategy. So, uh, you know, I feel that we have a good shot at uh, at uh, Sebring, and you know, we'll see. You know, Bobby. Speaking of racing, I got to tell you, I'm a big fan, and I got to admit that I was very starstruck because in 1986, I was one of those fans watching the television, watching you win Indy 500 for the first. You know, not, I'm not sure. Was that the first time or no? No, no. That, that was that my one and only. But that, that's only. fine with me. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us how, how was that feeling of winning Indy 500? Uh, well, it's you know it's uh, it's a race that uh, it's probably the most important race in North America for sure, and one of the one of the most important races in the world. Uh, uh, and so to win it, um, you know, it, it just sort of um, um, you know puts a stamp of approval on everything you've done up to that point, and of course it changes your life forever both commercially and, and, and as a career, you know, because afterwards everybody wants to have a 500 winner driving their car. So it's, uh, so for me to have won the race, you know, I'd led the race in previous years, but to actually finally lead the, the, the final lap, the, the last lap, uh, was a huge thrill and frankly kind of a relief. But, uh, but more than anything, just a great thrill. And, uh, you know, it's something I, uh, I uh, you know, look back fondly on. Well, you know, myself as being a 14-year-old at that time, I was standing up and cheering for you to win that race. So it was unbelievable to see you cross the finish line that way. Bobby, thank you so much for being on the show with us. Thank you very much. Bueno, gracias Camilo por toda esa cobertura y cuando regresemos aquí en Auto 060 la presentación del Audi A3 2015 desde Silicon Valley en California. Yo soy Javier Mota, esto es Auto 060. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.